Vandals target man's best friend. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Britton Pollard. And I'm Matt Austin. Someone's attacking dogs in their own backyards. And Fox 25's Phil Cross tells us the scars will last a lifetime. He has the horrific story of abuse only on Fox. Guys, Friday we told you about a case of animal abuse out of Tulsa where someone was pouring acid on dogs. Now, not, not long after that, the call started coming into Fox 25 saying someone is doing the exact same thing to dogs all over the metro. And we must warn you that some of what you're about to see is very graphic. He's kind of been the miracle dog out of everything. After surviving an illness as a puppy, this miracle dog is still beating the odds. It kind of broke my heart. You know, I can't imagine why someone would do something like that. Natasha Erlenbush came home last week to find someone had poured chemicals down Todd's back. Since the attack, Todd's come to know the halls at the Neal Veterinary Hospital very well. He's taking the rebandaging and all that stuff a whole lot better than any of us ever expected. Today, Dr. Brian Jones gives his star patient a checkup. All this right here is new skin growth. New growth is welcome news considering how deep the original wound was. I can't imagine this feels good. Todd bears the pain, but this pup isn't alone in his misery. <laughs> he's old, but he's, he's like a big puppy. Solomon is an eight-year-old Labrador mix. The pain and stuff that he must have been going through was just ungodly. He's recovering after going through a very similar chemical attack. It's it's furiating. I mean, it, you know, somebody could have the mind state, you know, to do something so evil, malicious, you know, to an animal. Solomon spends most of his time inside these days, but his owners say he misses being outdoors. <laughs> and Shelby doesn't quite understand why she can't play with her pal Solomon. And it's not fair for either one of them. Mark hopes Solomon's story will be a warning for other dog owners. Other people need to be more aware of you know, what's going on with their dogs and stuff, you know, so it doesn't happen to anybody else. Back at the veterinary hospital. It's like Superman, like Superman. Todd now has the perfect outfit to go with his super attitude. He's still a pretty happy dog for the most part. He's dealing with it well. Okay, chicks dig scars, man. And while Todd may look like new, underneath, doctors say he still has a lot more healing to do. And Natasha just hopes whoever attacked Todd never gets to hurt another dog again. And we can't imagine what would possess somebody to do that and then just sit there and watch them, you know, be in pain. Now, neither of the dog's owners filed police reports because they say they didn't know anything was wrong at first.